of the United States. Thank you all very much, and please be seated. Before welcoming our visitors, our guests here today, I have a brief announcement. I have to make it here because that's where the press is, and it's for them. I've just received a briefing from my national security advisors on the contents of the proposed Geneva Agreements on Afghanistan that would provide for the complete withdrawal of Soviet occupation forces from that country. I believe the U.S. can now join the Soviet Union as a guarantor of the Geneva Instruments. I have therefore asked Secretary Schultz to represent us at a signing ceremony for the historic accords as scheduled to take place in Geneva later this week. This development would not have been possible had it not been for the valiant struggle of the Afghan people to rid their country of foreign occupation. We take great pride in having assisted the Afghan people in this triumph, and they can count on our continued support. We also pledge our continued friendship and support to the government and people of Pakistan who have so generously hosted millions of Afghan refugees during this period of Soviet domination of Afghanistan. That's the end of the statement. Well, that's the end of that statement, and now let's bring on the NCAA basketball champions of Louisiana Tech and the University of Kansas. Thank you, and thank you all, to, and welcome to the White House. I want to join with the members of Congress from Louisiana and Kansas, your loyal fans, and the whole nation in congratulating you. He, you know, when I was a boy, my nickname was Dutch. And looking at all of you, I sort of wonder why it wasn't Shorty. <laughs> Come to think of it, being here with you reminds me of one of my experiences in college. I, it was freshman year, and just after the football season ended, and after playing football, I thought I might go out for basketball, too. And I went to the gym, and I saw a few people just about your size, and thought to myself, I think swimming is the sport for me. <laughs> but to the women of Louisiana Tech, congratulations. You are You, you had a lot of great games this season, but none was greater than the last one. With the Lady Texters trailing 33 to 19 at halftime, Coach Leon Barmore found himself telling his team, you don't quit in anything. You don't quit in life. No matter what happens, be proud of your efforts when it's over so you can live with yourselves the rest of your life. 
Any other game when we'd be behind by that many points, forward Erica Westbrook said, we'd be all upset. This time, we kept thinking that it had to be in us. We had to keep digging and finding it within ourselves. Well, Coach, Erica, and all of the lady texters, you found it. And I... And I just have a certain feeling that you're going to be able to live with yourselves pretty darned well. Congratulations go as well to Coach Larry Brown and the University of Kansas Jayhawks. Now, it's no secret that at the beginning of the NCAA tournament, you Jayhawks, well, I suppose the way to put it is to say that you weren't exactly favored to win. So what happened is a testament to determination, to hard work, lots and lots of hard work, to pride, to teamwork, and the courage to dream. And perhaps nothing exemplifies the true meaning of teamwork than the support you've all given to Archie Marshall and the untiring support Archie Marshall has given to you. And in my opinion, that's just the way it should be. As the soft-spoken Danny Manning said to a jammed room of reporters after the final game, I'd like for you guys to put this in your articles. For anyone who's ever been in a national tournament like this, keep your head up and work hard and anything can happen. To those who said it couldn't happen, well, we're number one. <laughs> And to coach, to coach Larry Brown, the man who did so much to make this a championship season, I know Jayhawk fans everywhere are rejoicing that next year, I'm the only one moving back to California. <laughs> well, they're both great stories. The stories of these two teams, these two fighters who happen to turn themselves into national champions. And if I could offer a thought to each of you young players, it would be this. Remember the lessons you've learned this season, the lessons about hard work and never quitting, about digging down into yourselves when you seem to be behind, because what you've learned in basketball will be a strength to you all your lives, especially here in this great land of opportunity. Because it's true, if you keep your head up and work hard in America, Anything can happen. So again, congratulations on your exciting victory. God bless you all. And have you thought about a game between... <laughs> all right. God bless you. Has anyone ever got up here and fainted? President Reagan, I know over the last eight years that he's probably had many a famous person here with him and a lot of great people, and he's invited him to the White House. But I can assure you that no one appreciates it more than Leon Balmore, the Louisiana Tech Lady of Texters, President Dan Renault, and Louisiana Tech University. We're very honored to be here. But I think something really special to me is I watched during these eight years, and I'm a big fan of President Reagan, the image that he's presented, he and his wife, and that's the very same image that we've tried to present with our women basketball players and team at Louisiana Tech. In 1981, he came to the White House. That was the same year that we won our first national championship. In 1982, we won a second national championship. His last year in office is this year, and we won again. I believe it was a great eight years for all of us, especially the president and Louisiana Tech. I have one of the best basketball players in America in this morning's USA Today. She was uh, won the Wade Trophy Friday, but it was in today's issue, and that's Teresa Weatherspoon. I mean, she's the heart and soul of our basketball team. Her determination and effort in that championship game led the rest of her teammates to a victory, and she wants to come forward to present President Reagan a gift.
Thank you. On behalf of the Lady Texas, we want to thank uh, President Reagan for allowing us to visit him here at the White House with him and his wife. And uh, few people have the privilege of meeting uh, makers of history, and just meeting him today has given us this opportunity. And as a token of our appreciation, we want to present to him an autographed basketball from the nation's number one women's basketball team, the Louisiana Tech University Lady Texters. I've never been anywhere eight years, so uh, <laughs> I just don't quite know how to react. But um, and this is our first one, uh, but uh, it's a, an extraordinary thing to be invited here and and uh, be recognized by the President of the United States and and everybody connected with this. Uh, you know, we had a, a real difficult time um, getting here, but I think the difficulties made it um, all that more meaningful. Um, Chancellor Budick, um, the University of Kansas and the, the state of Kansas, I know are, are thrilled to death, and uh, this is something we'll all remember for a long, long time. Uh, we, uh, we had a great player. I don't know if USA Today recognized him, but I think all our team did. Uh, a lot of people talked about our team as Danny and the Miracles, and that's, that's something we all believed in. But um, Danny Manning, uh, one of our captains and one of the great players to ever play college basketball, is going to present the president with a gift. I have to bend down a little bit. <laughs> no, I'd like to thank President Reagan and the staff for having us here. And we're very thrilled, and it's definitely an honor to be here. And we'd like to present him with one of the basketball men's letter jackets. That's Reagan.
but I thank you all and congratulations to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Do you think Jesse Jackson would be good like the president? Mr. President, the rebels say you're selling them out and they won't be bound by the Afghan deal. We are not, and you will all be briefed very shortly. Right now. Will this 